Well, I gotta hand it to you, Gun Must Samurai. You really gave it to us, man. These guys put an end to Chosen Elite's 10 war win streak. This was gonna be our 11th, and it took a level 3 clan. These guys were level 3, and they just came in at us like a bunch of filthy, angry animals. Again, they visibly delight in one another's company. Ah! Ah! Man, so that is that. Gumma Samurai beat Chosen Elite 81 to 83. Big props to you guys again. These guys are also in the CWL. They are one league below us, so we won't get a chance to revenge them in the Clan War League. But hopefully someday, maybe in a friendly war, or maybe even a random spin. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, let's uh, take a look at the six packers who brought the six packs home. There's a few. There were a few. So let's just go ahead and give a shout out to them, boys. So first, Hot came in with a six pack. Also, the boy, uh, let's see where. Yeah, yeah. There's a few people that just got. Thump! There's a few thumbs, man. Uh, Zach came in with a six pack. T Pain came in with a six pack. Meowing Tens. And I believe there was one more. Oh, Littlefoot. Littlefoot. So shout out. To the six packers, bringing it home for the clan and the guys that did dips and the guys that had fresh hits. But hold on one second. I'll be sorry, I'm fighting off a cold right now, so I sound a little off or I sound a little too sexy. I don't know, I got the sexy voice on, maybe. I don't know. Uh, hang on, I'll be right back. First one to come up is T Pain coming in with the Queen Walk Goho attack. Starts the Queen Walk over at the nine, along with a baby drag on top of the town hall, funneling the queen to the six. Also, gonna bring in a shattered. From the bottom, Queen is just making her way over to the 6. Once she takes out some trash and a few defenses and the CC, so getting a lot of value out of that hole, laying down the poise, slowing down the enemy Queen. She's still working on it to the 6. Here comes the Golems at the 6, at the 4, and they are just distracting all these defenses right here, soaking up some damage. Bowlers coming in at the 7 along with the King and a few Wizzies right behind the Golems. Wall breaker, test wall breaking it laid down at the six. A few more will be laid down to break right through there. Jump will be laid down to get on into the court. He's only got 10 hogs, so he has to use these wisely. Have to place them in at the right time and on the right spot, trying to path around or avoid those double giant bomb spots. So here comes the bowler, still throwing them rocks. King is taking a lead. Golems are doing some tanking. Lays down the rage, lays down the heel. The first heel on top of all that stuff right there. Oh, wait, no, there was no heel. There was no heel. There was just the rage. And the heel will be laid down for the Hogs. So the Hogs are going to come in from the 3 o'clock. Very nicely done, man. Waiting for it until some of these defenses are distracted. That Arch Tower, few on the Arch Tower, few on the Tesla. Moving on up to the 12 more. Get laid down on the Mortar. And now keep in mind, he's only got one heel for these Hogs. So he has to wait for the exact moment when he wants the Lamb to get the most benefit out of that heel for the Piggies. Few more get laid down on top of that 12 o'clock Mortar. Look at the Loons. Loons over here plays far back. Uh, back enough so that the hogs have time to take out that ad and they take it out of the way loons can just creep in and finish off the rest of the base i don't even think he really needed the loons but man there you go there you have it done dada for shot up man t pain coming in with a monstrous goho attack very nice my boy Absolutely love it when these Town Hall 9s use the Skelly Spell. I've seen it happen more and more often nowadays. They use the Skelly Spell to either take out the Queen, uh, provide some distraction, maybe take out an AD, or in this case, Littlefoot, use it to take out the King and provide a lot of distraction for the Hog. So his King getting laid down at the 9 along with a Baby Dragon. A few wall breaks get laid down, but they were not able to bust through, but no problem. They take out the Queen along with some trash. King wrapping around to the 9, going to work his way down onto the 6. Shatter getting laid down at the 12. Uh, archers and a minion got laid down trying to take out some of that trash clear away to path right into the 12 o'clock compartment wall breakers getting laid down lays down the point on top of the cc bullets throwing them rocks queen is getting in there goal is getting in there and look, look, look at this man lays down the jump he don't want them to travel off over to the left but he wants to take care of this wizzy farm and the tesla farm that would be popping up right there man so bowlers still throwing them rocks putting the pressure on the base golems are tanking queen is just staying behind sniping out all these defenses hogs will be coming in from the three but look at this beautiful place jump man able to take care of that tesla farm and the wizzy farm because that could have been real disaster for the hogs if they had walked in there just balls out and get thumped in man so he got two hills that he'll be laying down more hogs and get laid down at the six but take a look at this one giant right here 
doing a little bit of distraction, but providing a whole lot of benefit to the Hogs. Hogs coming into play, going to get right to those point defenses. As soon as they target the Hogs, the King targets the Hog. He lays down the Skelly Spell. Lays down the Skelly Spell. Get the King off their backs. Take the King out. And he actually still has a handful of them left to help with cleanup. So that man, keep that in mind. Bring those Skelly Spells. Maybe just bring one point. You don't need the double point so much no more. Bring a Skelly Spell. Use it for distraction. Maybe take out the Queen or the King. And look at this. He got a handful of them left to help with cleanup awesome man awesome a lot of value in that spell right there very very nice so he just got one piggy left but he's able to help with the cleanup and finish off this raid very nice job coming in from our boy littlefoot thumping this one in meowington's coming in on this base with a buttload of hogs man 21 hogs i love the way she laid down a loon to take care of the mortar that way the kill squad or the golems do not stray off over there and they stick to the plan just gonna pour right into that six along with some whizzies a few wall breaks gonna get laid down lays down a baby drag over here he's gonna work himself on to the left get a few good things out of that baby drag before he gets stumped out but it made the funnel it made the funnel now she can just pour everything right at that six gonna use a jump to get on into the core take care of the queen and a few other prime real estate defenses before letting down the hogs and i love this this attack for a few different things not just the sheer amount of hogs that she uses and they're just running rampant on the base but the poise spell she saves a poise spell for a few skellies that will be on their backs. But she lays one of them down for the CC. Taking care of the CC. Bowlers are throwing them rocks. Kill squad is doing their job all up in the core. Here comes a few hogs on that 7 o'clock mortar. A few more will be released in a counter or a clockwise rotation. And these hogs are just going to take care of the base and eat it up, man. Just eat it up. Eat it up. Oh! Man, lays down the first hill. Got one more left in the bag along with a poi. They're just making their rounds, making this counter or this clockwise motion. Man, almost got it wrong twice. Grim, get a hold of yourself. It must be the cold. But look at this. Ah! They take a bomb to the face, and the skelly spell, the poi spell, melts away the skellies. Hogs are just rain, ro Raymond. I can't speak today. Ah! Ah! This cold is messing me up, man. Oh, I'm sorry, meow. I kind of messed up your, uh, your, your raid right here. But still an absolutely beautiful attack coming in from our girl, Meowington, stumping this one in with a go-ho attack. This one coming in from Karen with a beautiful Queen Walk Lalo attack. Man. Now, this one was looking a little rough towards the end, but she starts it off laying down a few minions up top. Taking out some trash already, getting those out the way. Gonna lay down the queen at the three. Gonna use a quad quake to break into the core and get to two ADs with the queen. And the other two ADs gonna use a couple of dogs to tank for him. Meanwhile, loons will be coming right behind the dogs. So here comes the quakes, laying that down, making a breaking point and entry for the queen to get right up in there. Take out the CC, take out the enemy queen, and get it all funneled. For the, uh, for the loons to come into play. So here comes the Poi right down on top of the CC, slowing the CC down. Also, the enemy queen got a rage on top of her, amping the DPS up and the healing factor, keeping her alive. King getting laid down at the four on top of that cannon, able to flex on top of the enemy king, about to pop that ability here soon enough, bringing all the barbs, taking out some trash. And actually, he survives to the end too. So, man, very nice. Able to get them heroes to survive to the end of the raid, helping out with the cleanup. Uh, dogs coming in from the six right here from the six and take a look at the angle he takes on his base dog coming in at the six loons right behind the dog got one haste to quicken the pace and the loons catch up with the dog while they're still doing a little bit of tanking for those ad's and the other one coming in at the 10 where that wizzy farm is man that wizzy farm is mean for those loons so dog coming in doing a little bit of tanking lays down a rage to amp that dps up take out three wizzy towers but there's still one more left Queen is still alive, banging on a wall. She's going to reroute back up to the 12 where the loons need the help, baby. The loons need the help because they're starting to dwindle out. Pups are all around, taking up some cleanup. King is at the 6, and this one was looking real sketchy at the end of this raid, but Queen came in super clutch, able to take out that Expo, the Air Blower, and along with the Arch Tower and the Mortar and finish this one off. Yeah, very nice job coming in from our girl, Cameron, thumping this one in. 
All right, last but certainly not least, this actually might be my favorite one, but Zach coming in with the Queen Wah Go Ho Wee attack. Now, I don't know if this was just an attack that was starting to go wrong and he just recovered from it very nice or it was a sheer stroke of genius, but he comes in with the Queen Walk from the 12, used a couple hogs at the bottom to get the CC pool. Queen is doing her thing, taking out some trash and some real estate. Going to take care of the CC also, but where I think things might have gone wrong, I don't know, maybe it didn't go wrong, but with the kill squad that she will be releasing at the left-hand side, Right. Uh, Queen doing her thing, taking out the CC now. Going to move her way on and down towards the 3 o'clock once she's done with the CC. But here comes the Golem right here, tanking for the Mortar and some other defenses along with a Baby Drag. Also, the King will be released right there and some Bowlers. But take a look at this. Everything is just sort of moving downhill. Starting at the top and just going to go right down to the mountain towards the 6 o'clock where they'll all meet up. And here comes the Bowlers. Here comes the Witches pumping out them Skellies. And take a look at this. Lays down a Skelly spell, providing some distraction for a few hogs that are coming in man ah oh, i love it man skellies for a little bit of distraction along with the witches pumping out those skulls hogs got major value just with two three of them right there two three of them moving on and actually nothing even really went to the core the kill squad never went to the core the only thing that did was a few hogs man was just a few hogs and this guy's just tearing his base apart just from hitting it from the sides pause <laughs> just from hitting it from the sides man hogs a few of them in the core working on to the wizzy tower he's got a few more that he'll be releasing on there on that end right there queen's still doing her thing got one more rage left a loon two wizzies a few minions and that's it done dada for shot man got that queen ability left but man awesome attack bro awesome attack absolutely love it man and take a look at this ah he's got the flex man he's got the flex very nice Woo! Nice attack coming up from our boy Zach with a Queen Walk Go Ho Wee. But yeah, anyways, um, shout out to Gunma Samurai, man. You guys really did thump us in uh, by a couple of stars. But yeah, big props to you guys. I hope you guys do well in the league. Maybe we can revenge. That will be very nice to get uh, some revenge going. But yeah, hope you guys like the video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends if you like it. Don't forget to push that like button. I'll try to get over this cold as soon as I can. But in the meantime, stay flexing, my boys. Peace.